legs. I need you to stay awake, okay? Where you all been? We've been out camping. What happened to her? We need to get to the hospital. Hospital's no good. It's been overrun. You can trust me. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm pretty good also. <laughs> are you in LA right now? I'm at home. I was uh I was learning. I was just at the gym and then I I, I have to learn some lines. I've I I've an audition at, at two o'clock, so okay, so nice. So well, before I start your interview, I'd like to say I watched the movie American Siege, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I love it. However, I didn't like it because you were a very bad guy, bro. <laughs> That's me. I'm usually a bad guy, but um, the film that I have coming up, I'm playing a kind of good guy in it. It's a romantic comedy, so it's different for me, you know? Yes, it was amazing. Actually, I saw two weeks ago, I think. I see. Where are you right now? What country are you in? In Brazil right now. I see, I see. Cool. Uh, let's talk here about uh, the movie Heard, right? Which will be Heard, released yeah. on next Friday, 13th. That's correct, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was your first impression, Timothy, after reading the script of the movie? Can you tell me a little about it? Well, um, I read the script. I got a good offer, good, you know, financial offer. And I read the script and I liked it. I didn't have a lot to do in it, you know. It wasn't a lot of work, but I liked the character. And he's like... A, an ex-military guy, you know, and, and the, the world seems to be collapsing. So he's kind of in a good position because he knows how to take care of himself and his followers during a... It's, even though it's a zombie movie, it's, it's, it's kind of similar to the COVID situation with, you know, diseases and stuff spreading throughout the world and, you know, people turning into zombies. And... You are part of a militia, right? Can you tell That's me what right. was it like playing this character? Um, I love playing the character. It was... It's... um. He knows exactly what he wants and he knows how to get it. And he... In, in a world that's falling apart, he is quite disciplined and militaristic. And he is... Um, uh, he thinks force is the way to control things when everything is falling apart. I suppose in some ways, he's like a dictator, my character. He, he thinks he knows best. And if people don't go ahead with what he wants, he has no, uh, he has no conscience about killing them because he, he thinks he's, he's acting in the greater good, if you know what I mean. Like a lot yeah. of... Like, like a lot of tyrants or like a lot of dictators, they think they know best for their people, but they don't want to be questioned, if you know what I mean. So. Okay. What was the most difficult part uh, of the movie to record, maybe because of the weather, the location, or some part of the text, for example? Um, I No, I did. I love being on location, the places that I haven't been before. It and was I, in Missouri, I, right? It was in Missouri, and I would love to do a Western there because uh, Jesse James uh, comes from Missouri, and th there's a lot of great history in Missouri, and and uh, you know the Civil War back in that time in the in the 1860s was uh, there's a lot of great stories from that area of, of that time. Now I'm from a rural area in in uh, in Ireland myself. And we were in a small town called Poplar Bluff in Missouri. So I felt quite at home in, in, the, in the place. And the people were very friendly and lovely. And um, some people mightn't like to be in small towns and in, 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 in small rural towns. But I love it and I felt at home. And, and uh, <laughs> I love that the people are very friendly there. And there doesn't seem to be, like you often see in big cities or whatever, there seems to be huge differences in wealth, you know. You have the really very wealthy and you have the very poor who are homeless, you know. Whereas in the smaller towns, I feel, in America and in, in other places, there's not a lot of 
difference in wealth. So people seem to get on better together and they seem to be happier. Now, I could be totally wrong, but that's just my observation. <laughs> and the movie was premiered at Fright Fest in London, right? You're correct. It was it, yeah. was, it premiered at Fright Fest in England and it was a big hit, I think, and it got very good reviews. And uh, I actually haven't seen the movie yet, you know. I just saw the trailer. So, um, uh, so I'm looking really? forward to seeing it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it, you know. But I go off to do another movie uh, on Thursday in Georgia, in Savannah, Georgia, with um, Susan Sarandon and, and Bette Midler. So, uh, returning to the question, uh, the last question, what are your expectations uh, about this movie from the rest of the world, including Brazil, for example? Well, I think I think zombie and horror kind of movies do very well. Um, and if it does very well, uh, then I will there will probably be another one, a part two or something, I would imagine, which uh, I would hope to have a bigger part in, you know. Um, but uh, I, I think the mo I think the movie is very good and uh, I think it'll do quite well worldwide and, you know, It was it was uh, an independent movie that are you know and there seems to be more and more independent movies which I I think is fantastic. I don't like the superhero movies. I think it it the superhero movies have have ruined the uh, the movie industry. But it's coming back. There's a lot. I mean, in the last year, I've I've done a lot of independent movies, which I think is 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 very good for movies to tell you the truth and storytelling you know so yeah actually the people like uh movies like that you know uh i remember for example the movie the walking dead you know yeah yeah and most of people like it so i think uh, the herd is gonna be amazing i think it will i i think it'll get a very good audience and do very well so i hope you enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> for sure have you been to brazil i forgot to ask you before i I have. I was. Where was I? I was in. I was in uh, Sao Paulo. Okay. I was in Florianopolis, and I was in Rio. So I love Brazil and the Brazilians. Oh. And then I did. A movie, I did a movie in Miami called On Felt with uh, with a bunch of Brazilians. Uh, uh, Carmel Campbell. Uh, I forget her name. Her second name. Uh, Andrea Alves and uh, Nelson. I met a, a Brazilian director, Nelson something. I forget his last name, but uh, uh, it was great. It was great working with a bunch of Brazilians down in uh, Miami last year. You know, it was <laughs> about last September, you know. So uh, before uh, we finished, I'd like to say thank you for your time, Timothy. It was a great pleasure to talk to you before. And I'm sure the movie is going to be amazing. And when you come to Brazil, please text me and we can meet uh, you and your family and I can show you a lot of good things to do here. That would be fantastic. <laughs> where, where, where do you live in Brazil? Actually, in the South Brazil, Rio Grande do Sul. Have you heard about that? Yeah, yeah. I see. That would yeah, be fantastic. Yeah. If I go to Brazil, I'll definitely give you a call. Yeah, please text me. Uh, you show a lot of good things to do here. For sure. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you. Have a good day. Take care. Goodbye. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.